Hi children, let us enjoy together doing addition of word problems in money. It's a very interesting exercise. We will read and do together. And this addition of word problem in money is very, very interesting. Let's read it. Let's work it out together. I hope you will enjoy. Let's look at our first word problem. Look. And let's read aloud. Veena had 35 rupees. How many rupees did Veena have? 35 rupees. Her father gave her 44 rupees. How much did father give? 45 rupees. More. How many rupees does she have? So she got already her money, 35 rupees, and her father gave her 45 rupees more. So now we have to find out how many rupees does she have now. Okay? So let's write. Veena has 35 rupees. So we write down here the amount Veena has. 3, 5, 35. Good. How much money did her father give her? Father gave her rupees 44. So we write down here rupees 44. Now what do we do? Add together. What is the question? How many rupees does she have? So we are looking at Veena. What is the amount she has in her hand? Now, let's do the work together. One, ten. In the one place, we have five, one, five and four. Five rupees and four rupees. What is five plus four? Five plus four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Five plus four is nine. So we write down here, nine. Third. In the tenth place, we have three and four. 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 3. 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 plus 4 is 7. So we write down 7. So Veena had 35 rupees. Her father gave her 45 more. So 35 rupees plus 44 rupees, which her father gave. She has a total of 79 rupees. So what is the question? How many rupees does she have altogether? She has. 79 rupees altogether. That's what does she have? 79 rupees. 35 plus 44 is she has 79 rupees. Did you enjoy the word problem in addition? Good. Let's take another word problem and enjoy working together. Let's read together. Shall we? Tom bought a toy for 60 rupees. What is the cost of a toy? 60 rupees. So Tom bought a toy for 60 rupees and a chocolate. He loves chocolate. Do you? A chocolate for 35 rupees. He bought a, he bought a toy for 60 rupees. Chocolate for 25, 35 rupees. Okay? What is the total amount spent by him? So how much money did he spend? Buying a toy and a chocolate. Okay. Amount spent on a toy. Rupees 60. So we write it here. Rupees 60. That's the amount he spent to buy a toy for himself. Amount he spent to buy a chocolate. That is 25 rupees. So we write plus 25. 60 rupees plus 35. He bought a chocolate for 35 rupees. So amount spent for chocolate. 35. A toy, 60, chocolate, 35. Now we have to add that. To find what? To find the total amount spent by Tom at the shop. Let's add. In the ones place, we have 0 plus 5. What is 0 plus 5? It's 5 itself. Good. 0 plus 5 is 5 itself. A 5 plus 0 is 5 itself. So we write in the ones place, 5 rupees. Good. 0 plus 5 is 5. Next we go to the 10th place. We have 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3. What is 6 plus 3? 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 plus 3 is 9. 
we write nine here. So we get 95 rupees is what is spent. Let's read the question. What is the total amount spent by Tom? Tom spent rupees 95. Tom spent rupees 95 for a toy and a chocolate. Yes? Did you enjoy? Very good. Let's take another word problem. Yes? I hope you are enjoying. Let's read the problem, then work it out. Mary has 52 rupees. How much does Mary have? She has 52 rupees. And her brother Joseph has 23 rupees. Mary has 52 and Joseph has 23 rupees. How much money do they have all together? Both Mary and Joseph together. How much do they have? Okay, amount Mary has. What is the amount Mary has? Rupees 52. So we write it here. Amount Joseph has plus 23. Good. So amount Joseph has is plus 23. Now we are going to find out how much they have all together. What must you do for that? Add. Yes. Once place we have 2 plus 3. What is 2 plus 3? 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay? So we write 5 here in the 1 place. 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2. 5, 6, 7. 5 plus 2 is 7. So Mary and Joseph together they have rupees 75. Let's read the question. What is? How much money do they have altogether? They have rupees 75. They have 75 rupees both together. Isn't it enjoyable? What are you doing? What problems in addition? I hope you enjoyed it. Let's take a new sum. Let's read together and then find the answer. And bought. A cup for rupees 35 and a spoon for rupees 13. What did Anne buy? She bought a cup and she gave 35 rupees. She bought a spoon and she gave 13 rupees. Question. How much money did she spend all together? You must find out how much money Anne spent buying a cup and a spoon. Amount spent on a cup. Rupees 35. Good. Amount spent to buy a spoon. Plus rupees 13. Good. Now we have to find how much money did she spend all together. Unless, how do you get the answer? You have to add. When you add these two, you get the money she spent in the shop for a cup and a spoon. Let's add. In the one place you have 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 is what? 5, 6, 7, 8. 5 plus 3 gives you 8. And we write 8 in the one place. Good. 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 and 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So we write 4 here. So, and the amount spent by and to buy a cup, rupees 35, to buy a spoon, rupees 13. What is the total amount she spent? Rupees 48. Your answer is, she spent rupees 48. She spent 48 rupees to buy a cup and a spoon. Did you enjoy working out the addition of word problem? Yes. Now, let's take another problem. Read together. Enjoy working it together. Yep. Read a bot. A basket. For 46 rupees. Read a bot. A basket for 46 rupees. And 
some fruits and some fruits for 42 rupees the question is how much money did she spend in all now so we have to find the total amount spent in all m peter bought a basket cost of a basket how much did she give for a basket rupees 46 so we write here the cost of a of a basket it about is rupees 46 then the cost of some fruit she bought some fruits what was the cost of the fruits it about she bought fruit for 42 rupees so we'll write plus 42 so the basket fruits now question how much money did she spend in all to find out that what must you do add the amount spent on the basket and on the food and that will give you the answer let's add in the ones place you have 6 plus 2 6 plus 2 what is 6 plus 2 say 7 8 6 plus 2 is 8 and we write 8 in the ones place what is 4 plus 4 4 Plus four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four plus four is eight. So we write eight in the tenth place. To buy a basket and some fruit, we have spent total of eighty-eight rupees. So your answer is she spent eighty-eight rupees to buy a basket and some fruit for herself. Good. Did you enjoy the word problem? In addition. reading working it out good